So I don't know about you, but I don't really like to review cameras when they're still film in the camera. The reason why they're still film in the camera is because this is my new favorite camera as of late. This is the Pentax PC 35 AF. This is really a shock to me personally because you know me. I like my Fuji Cardio Mini as my point and shoot. If you saw my Luminar 100 film review, I mentioned that this camera is the camera I want at an estate sale. When you win things at an estate sale, it is like a blind date. You know what I mean? You go there, you pick it up, and you really don't know what you're gonna get. Oh, a lot of the people who are you know, doing the estate sales, most of them, they just try to get rid of anything that's in the person's house or whatever they're trying to liquidate. They're not testing anything, so it is as is. But luckily for me, this was an actual win because I paid, I believe $34 for this camera. We had to rent a car because it was like in the middle of like Long Island that I had to pick this up. Technically, I paid still on, under $100 for this camera with the car rental zip car this is a 35 millimeter point and shoot you can actually adjust the iso yourself so you can over or under expose your shots when you want to and this is a 35 millimeter f 2.8 that's like a contact c2 this is just like a lot cheaper i'm sounding like a broken record i am not campaigning against contact c2 but I'm here to tell you there are other point and shoot 35 millimeter cameras that are really worth your time and money like this one. The body of this camera is fully metal. It's so heavy, not that heavy, but you know it's a substantial weight. It really feels like a quality product. I really love the all black. I love the compact size. Also like the pop of red to tell you where to switch or where to press. I really love that detail. I love this cover because it protects the lens. Side note, if you do get this camera, make sure that the lens is open before you pop the flash because it will not pop if the lens is closed. You close it, you just push it. Here is the film release button when you're done with the roll and then here is to rewind it. Oh. I wasn't supposed to do that because there is film in here. This is why I don't. Yes, it's not automatic. And also, this is where you advance the film. It feels like a disposable camera, but I promise you, this is quality quality camera there's also this button uh, i guess to help with the flash it says plus 1.5 there i'm guessing that's to add on the exposure and there's also a self timer which is really useful this camera was released in 1982 if you ask me a camera this compact is really impressive yes it has a lot of manual characteristics like advancing the film and also rewinding the film but honestly that bit does not bother me what i really look for in a compact point and shoot camera is just accessibility this beat my fuji Cardia mini hey yo just with how fast i can shoot something all i do is i switch it and then i can shoot and just listen to the shutter okay i hate that i'm wasting this frame just listen to it that is it how silent this is and i just hate this bit this rotating thing right here is painful man this is so sharp it does hurt especially when it's cold if you keep kind of like advancing the film eventually you'll get calluses on your thumb if i want to use the flash i can just easily flip the flash up i really don't like the super automatic cameras where it'll just determine if they want to use the flash or not especially if you're trying to be discreet you have to press like the button four times just to turn the flash off and at least with this the flash is already off that's the default if i want to use the flash i can just flip the flash up but if i'm doing street photography this flash is down i also really love the fact that it's very quiet i shot all of these photos from my hip i use a iso 100 film if that doesn't tell you how good this lens is and how fast this camera is 
I don't know what else. This camera takes two AAA batteries. It's easily accessible. You don't have to buy a specialty battery just to use this camera. If you find this anywhere online, I suggest you pick it up. Right now on eBay, someone is selling this camera for $75. You can get a 35 millimeter f2.8 camera for less than a hundred dollars because of its super quiet shutter you can do street photographies no problem you can easily sneak up on people i really hate using the word creep up or sneak up on people because i feel like i'm doing something illegal i'm not i'm not gonna compare it to contact c2 they're a completely different animal in terms of a 35 millimeter point and shoot i think you should try other brands and other cameras especially if they're pretty affordable just try it just buy it let this be a lesson to all of you that you should definitely check out estate sales as well estate sales are not just for furniture but nowadays i'm just there for cameras if you do decide to go on an estate sale and go camera hunting just be mindful that you will be disappointed you know half the time that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them down in the comments below. If you've tried this camera before, if you're thinking about getting it, let me know. If you haven't yet, do check out my Instagram. My Instagram is right here. I post there every day. I post a lot of reels lately because that's kind of where everything is leading now. And if you wanna see the rest of my work, you can check out my website. And in my website, I have links to my merch store and also my print shop. That's it. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Every time you comment, like, and subscribe, I'm just getting more fired up to do more videos. I'll see you guys next time. I feel like I'm betraying my Fuji Cardi Mini, but it is what it is, you know? Actually, if I'm trying to be discreet in the street. Mmm, that kind of rhymes.